mabuhay. So here, I will show you a 15, 0 to 15 and 15 to 0 up down using JK flip flop. So first, the components are I use a 74LS73. For the trapping of the values for the segment, I use a, I use a the basic uh, basic gates and here I use a uh, NAND for availability for the purpose of availability so if you can see I have here a switch and I will explain it later so let's start the circuit so this is the up counter so this is the slowest speed of the circuit so here in a circuit like up down counter you have two options for Q you will get the, the output value from Q or you will get it from Q prime so because in Q prime when you connect the gate here to VCC the counter will the segment will count up act as an up counter while if you ground it it will count from ne to negative and just like a and just like you it's just the inverse proportion if you will connect it to ground if you will connect it to BCC it will count 15 to 0 and and if from 0 to 15 you should connect it to ground so I prefer to use Q prime. So let's so this is the this is the switch. So this so this switch controls the ground or VCC and this is an another option. So first let's see. So I click it and as you can see the counter is counting down. From 15 to 0 so we will encounter here a problem using a produce program it is a uh, quite perfect that if we will change the values if we will change the switch from ground to VCC automatically in a produce program or in any other IDE the circuit here will count automatically from 15 to 0 example is if it is counting from for example 8 to zero if you s turn on the switch it will go back to 0 to 15 but as you can see it goes 12 to 15 so it's like it's continuing the count so for example here I will I will click it to down so you can see 6 to 5 so one solution I did it is the explanation for it is because here in the oscillator, I, here in the timer circuit, this capacitor may discharge, but this capacitor may discharge even we change the switch. So this this circuit just proved that there are some little errors in a produce environment and in actual work. So, how to so our project is about fifteen to zero and zero to fifteen. So what I did is I trapped the values for this the second switch, and this second switch stands for the reset. So the seven the LS seventy three here is always connected to VCC. Note the clock in seventy four LS seventy three must be always equate or connected to the VCC because the moment it touches the ground it will reset all so what I did is I trap it using a NAND gate here and places it here as the switch so as I press this because this is a 74 LS73 a negative triggered dual JK flip flop as I, I, I press this, I, I select this, you can see 
that the reset period is 15 rather than 0 because we get the values from Q prime for T is equal to 0 instead from Q. So if you will get the values from Q, you will get a reset period or a number of 0, 0. So I will press it again. So the counter works. So the purpose of it is, for example, I reset it again. So it is counting 9 to 12. So I can directly reset it. So, just the purpose of getting the reset bottom so that it will count from 0 to 15. So, you will not wait until that bug or I, I call it something bug starting from start counting from 0 to 15. So, for example, another example for it is I press, press down the counter. So, 6 to 5. So, I can press this switch and reset it. So, 15 back again to 0. So, just PM me for the schematic and I'll show you the equations for the trapping and how to use this if you want. If you, want, if you don't want to use this or just a, a very simple, so you just emit this and from here, this is the VCC and ground portion. You just connect it to VCC or ground and that's all. So... This is the circuit for a cup down counter with a control here. So, thanks.